Hi guys, I'm Asnath Bryant and today I am going to be bringing you another raw food recipe. Okay, so tonight you're going to see how I whip up my dinner really quickly, how I managed to go from fridge to table in probably 10 minutes, um, a little less, sometimes a little more. All right, so basically what I'm going to be making tonight for you is jerk mushroom. I took a jerk recipe and I adapted it. So let's dive right in and let me show you how to put the sauce together. Okay, so for the sauce, I usually use one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna pour that in. I also use one fourth cup of brass liquid aminos. Now I'm gonna tell you, some people use um, soy sauce, less sodium. Um, so brass can be rather salty. But I, when I use this recipe, I usually probably eat this over about three servings. So it's up to you. I just want you to keep an eye for the salt content in Brax. So I'm going to add one fourth cup of Brax liquid aminos. All right, so in addition to that, I will need two tablespoons of olive oil or whichever oil you prefer. You can use the oil you like. So that's two tablespoons of that. The next thing I am going to use is I'm going to go ahead and throw my green onions in there. So you can use about five to seven, um, less depending on your taste buds. And I need um, thyme. So I'm going to use about seven branches of that. So I'm going to say between five and seven. All right, so another thing I use is allspice um, ground up. So I want two tablespoons of that to go in this recipe. Just want to dump that in. Also, I need lemon. So I take about half of a lemon and I squeeze that in as well. So maybe like one, one and a half tablespoons. Next thing I want to add is some, I didn't even open this, is some agave nectar. So this you can use two to three. That is kind of hard to open. Sorry, <laughs> should have opened it ahead of time. But next you want to use about two to three tablespoons of this agave nectar. Like I said, you can take the agave nectar and use maple syrup if you like. So I'm going to use two to three tablespoons. So you guys, I think I'll use about three tonight. Why not? All right. So the next thing I'm going to have to cut this um, habanero and this really makes the recipe. And I'm just realizing I forgot a knife. So give me one second. So you want to cut this now. In the original recipe that is not a raw recipe, they use about five of these. There is no way on earth <laughs> that I would use really over one of these. And when I cut this habanero, I'm kind of removing all the seeds. I probably only use about, I probably only allow about three seeds in their total. So I'm gonna dump all this in. And last but not least, you are going to need six cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna put that in there also. And I'm going to grind that up. this recipe I'm grinding this up until it becomes smooth enough to pour the sauce over my food so probably about 30 seconds to one more minute <laughs> That is good. 
good enough for me. I blend it up till kind of like where it becomes creamy. All right, so I'm just going to go through those ingredients again because I was dumping them in. You are going to need one fourth cup of brass liquid aminos or some people use soy sauce. No, I'm a show, showy, showy. Um, so that's one fourth cup of the brass and then also one fourth cup of the apple cider vinegar. In addition to that, you're gonna need two tablespoons of olive oil, two to three tablespoons of agave nectar, or you can use maple syrup, two tablespoons of allspice, half of a lemon, and about seven of these branches of thyme, about five to seven, and six cloves of garlic. You're going to put that all in your blender. Oh, and last but not least, the habanero pepper. That's like the most important part of this recipe. Now, if you don't totally like spice, omit that all together and use um, a jalapeno or whatever spice you can take. But the habanero does make it really spicy, and I like that because people always say, like, um, what do you do about having warm food in the winter? These are the tricks. These are the secret. I throw a habanero pepper in there, and then I blend that up into the recipe. So this is my jerk sauce. Now, for what I'm going to eat it over, I have, um, I'm gonna say about two cups of mushrooms. You're gonna put that on your plate. So you just wanna wash those or rinse those off first. And I probably have about a cup and a half of broccoli. I'm gonna put that on my plate as well. You guys, sometimes I also cut up red bell peppers and put it in here, but I do kinda of like the taste without the red bell peppers. But the red bell peppers can set it off, so I just wanted to mention that as an option. Next, I'm going to take my shredder, and I'm just going to peel some zucchini. Try and peel some zucchini over this recipe. Wow, that's having a hard time coming off of there. All right, so I want to peel the zucchini. And you can use as much zucchini as you like. Like I say, when it comes to the vegetable part of your recipe, I'm showing you what I use, but you can indulge when it comes to your vegetables. Um, with the sauce, you do want to use that in moderation. Like I said, that brat contains salt. So you want to adjust it accordingly. Um, so then I'm going to take my sauce. I usually pour it in this bowl. All right, so... That is how my sauce looks. Can you guys see that? I'm going to take it and pour it over my vegetables. Look how like chunky that is. I love that. All right, so this is about all I use. So that may be about two tablespoons, um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on how much you could drench it. I kind of like the sauce all over, and then I eat it accordingly so mm. Mm. so you guys the habanero pepper is hot <laughs> so if you you can't really handle spice don't add it but this is how like I have that feeling of having a cooked meal because when I'm eating this I'm already warming up already so um so like I said this is my jerk recipe this is how I managed to bring my food from the fridge to the table in less than 10 minutes. So if you would add anything, let me know. Um, until next time, have a great taste.